Well, I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Well, I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Well, I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Well, oh, Satan had me bound. But Jesus set me free. Oh, Satan had me bound. But Jesus set me free. Oh, Satan had me bound. Jesus set me free. Singing glory. Hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Well, I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me. Well, I'm so glad Jesus lifted me singing glory hallelujah Jesus lifted me will on my way to heaven shouting victory on my way to heaven shouting victory will I'm on my way to heaven shouting victory singing glory hallelujah Jesus lifted me, well, I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me, I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me, well, I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me, glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me, well, oh, Satan had me bound. But Jesus set me free, oh, Satan had me bound. But Jesus set me free. Well, oh, Satan had me bound. Jesus set me free. Glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Well, I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me. Well, I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me. Glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Well, I'm on my way to heaven. Shouting victory. On my way to heaven. Shouting victory. Yes, I'm on my way to heaven. Shouting victory. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Well, I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Well, I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I am. I am so glad that Jesus lifted me. Praise God. We can have the victory tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles tonight, we can turn to Luke chapter 8. St. Luke chapter 8. Praise the Lord. Luke chapter 8, beginning at verses 1. And it came to pass afterward that he went throughout every city and village preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God, and the twelve were with him. That preach, and certain women which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils, Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's steward, and Susanna, and many others which ministered unto him of their substance. And when much people were gathered together and were come to him out of every city, he spake by a parable. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell on by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. And some fell upon a rock, and as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away, because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. And other fell on good ground and sprang up and bare fruit a hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried. 
He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Brother Jim, you all thank God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. In the first two, three verses there, and I think about Mary Magdalene and uh, the women there that was with Jesus as he spread, uh, showing, uh, preaching the good tidings and uh, showing the good tidings of the kingdom of God. Amen. And I think about Mary Magdalene and the Bible said, to whom much is forgiven. There's much love to whom there's much forgiven. You know, and when I got saved, I had some that said, well, you got saved real good, and Brother Fred, that's why I had a lot to be forgiven of. Amen. I, you know, I, I had a lot, amen, praise God, that God delivered me from. And I'm so glad that Jesus lifted me out of that, yes. Brother John. I know what it is to be at the rock bottom uh, of, of life, you know, and I was there. I felt like that's where I was at, uh, at the rock bottom, and amen, and uh, amen, I love the Lord tonight because of what he done for me, and I'll never forget that day. Amen, what Jesus done for me when he saved me. And I, I can't get past that. Amen, and I'm glad for that tonight. But tonight I wanted to look at uh, the sower, amen, that sowed the seed, amen, and uh, verses 10, he said, uh, his, well, verses 9, his disciples asked him, saying, what might this parable be? And he said, and explained the parables that he just uh, spoke about the sower of the seed. Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to other parables in parables that seeing they might not see and hearing they might not understand. Jesus plainly uh, explained what he was speaking of to the, his disciples here, amen, and uh, that it was for uh, them, amen, to understand. And I'm glad tonight that my understanding was open when I got saved. I'll never forget the day how that I didn't know I could come to church and listen to the preacher preach and amen so many things and all I knew was that I just wanted to run and hide most of the time. Amen. And I, amen, wanted to get out of there. And I, amen, uh, eventually did, you know, when I could, uh, you know, get out of uh, the house of God. And I remember the change that was made in me. Uh, uh, amen, that I had no desire to be in God's house. And when I got saved, I wanted to go. Amen, like Brother Jimmy said, I'd wondered why we didn't have church every night, you know. Amen, I couldn't wait. Uh, amen, to come to the house of God, to feel the good spirit of God. Amen, to hear the word of God, to be fed. Uh, amen, the word of God. Uh, hallelujah. Amen, but I want you to know uh, there's some trials comes along the way. You've been in it a while, Brother John. Some of you here tonight, I can tell. Amen. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. If you're going to serve God and you want to do, amen, what's right, yeah. you have opposition. That's right. That's Absolutely. Yeah, you will. Amen. I was so glad for Brother Jason. Amen. When, uh, amen, he come the to the altar, gave his life to the Lord, and this morning was baptized. And Amen, that makes me happy. Amen, I tell you tonight, amen, Jesus wants us to know tonight, amen, I praise God that the trials are gonna come. Yeah. And uh, praise God, I tell you what, it's good to know the Lord. Yeah. You know, the, I never had the devil, I never had nobody try to tell me I wasn't saved too much except for the preacher man until I got saved. <laughs> You know what I mean? Amen, right. And then I had so much opposition, uh, you know. Yes, sir. I, 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 you know, I, 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 I was, uh, amen, uh, everything I, I turned around seemed like I, I, I found that uh, I had opposition there. Yeah. Uh, I didn't have no warfare until I got saved. Yeah. Uh, getting saved was the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah. But on the other hand, I found that I'm in a war. I found that I'm in a battle. Yes, sir, Amen. He said unto you, is getting, and he said now, the parable that, uh, is this, the seed is the word of God. That's a good seed. Amen. This word is precious. It's precious. Uh, those by the wayside are they that hear, then cometh the devil and take away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. It didn't mean much to them anyway, or nothing to them anyway. You know how that is. Yeah. It's like off of a duck's back, Bless amen, you. or you can try to tell the world. I remember when I got saved, full of the zeal of the Lord, 
from the time that the Lord saved me and I thought, amen, I would go and tell my friends. Yeah. My friends at that time yeah. was not like, they was not believing friends. Yeah. And I went and I never forget. And, uh, well, they said, well, we're glad for you and, you know, this and that. And they didn't understand. It's like, uh, I felt like where he said, uh, that Lot went and talked to his family. And I yeah. feel that way sometimes in the family. Yeah. And they was, he was like one to them that mocked, as you can find yeah. in the book of Genesis, I believe, when uh, Lot went and tried to uh, tell his family, amen, and, or, uh, uh, and they, he was to them as one that mocked. And uh, that's the way it is with the world sometimes. They, uh, the word of God falls by the wayside. And on the rock... They on the rock are they which when they hear receive the word with joy and these have no root which for a while believe and in time temptation fall away. In time of temptation fall away. Temptation's going to come. Because that we get saved doesn't mean that we are not going to be tempted. Matter of fact you probably be tempted more. And we find in the book of uh, uh, James about temptation. When temptation come, yeah. listen to me tonight. He said, uh, James, the servant of God, the Lord uh, Jesus Christ, to, I'm in chapter 1, in verses 1, to the tribes which are scattered abroad. My brethren, verses 2, count it all joy when you fall into divers temptation. That's a strange thing yeah, for us in our ears. But this is a spiritual uh, application. We're to count it all joy when we fall into temptation. This is our uh, chance, I would say. This is our uh, time to prove to God and to the devil that we belong to God and that we're going to stand for God. And it's going to come, amen. He said, count it all joy knowing this, that trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her patience perfect work and that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. If any man lack wisdom let him ask of God that giveth all men liberally and upbraideth not it shall be given to him. But let him ask in faith not wa uh, nothing wavering for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driveth uh, to the wind uh, uh, and tossed. And let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. We've got to, we've got to, you know, this has got to mean something to us. Yeah, Praise God. When I got saved, I knew what it meant. Yeah. Well, I was a young man of 20. I knew what it meant. Praise God. I knew what it was. Uh, he said, count the cost. Uh, what did it cost? It cost everything in the world. But praise God, it's worth it. I stepped into a brand new world. I, I stepped into a brand new day. I, amen. I have a thing. I was changed. I, amen. Glory to God. I, amen. Something happened that day. Glory to God, it did. But we just got to realize. But I know where I was. I know what it, sin. I knew where sin, the wrong road of sin, take you farther than you ever mean to go. It'd keep you longer than you ever meant to stay. Amen. It cost you more than you could ever pay. And Jesus was the only one. Praise God, and he set me free that day. And I ain't been all that I want to be. And I ain't been no holy judge. But praise God, I ain't never been what I used to be. And I don't ever want to be. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. And I've went through some things. I've seen God work. Amen. And do some things. Glory to God in my life. that It was miracle miraculous. Glory to God. And it will be for those that are trusting him with your whole heart. But you've got to look to him. Amen. You've got to hold to him. Amen. Amen. I've said I'm a hold on preacher. We've got to hold on I, to God sometimes. I, when it seems like everybody around us, you know what I felt like? I, amen. I, but when I got saved, I, amen, the old devil said, I, amen, that they, uh, so many, you know, I thought that the whole church didn't think I was going to make it. But I, I was hoping they were pulling for me, and they was, amen, and we need to. As Brother Jimmy said, the church is pulling for you. But it didn't always seem that way to me. And we don't always understand. You know, and he, Jesus said, it's impossible that offenses come. Yeah. But woe to those by which they come. And we had, that's the thing. We've really got to watch, isn't it? Yeah. 
Amen. Glory to God, how to help in the right way. But amen, count it all joy. But let him ask, for let not, he said, a double-minded man, verses 8, is unstable in all of his ways. And we see that a lot today. He said, let the brother of low decree rejoice that is exalted, but the rich in that he is made low, because as a flower of the grass he shall pass away. I'm talking about the parable of the sower and the seed. Yeah. Amen. The, 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 hey, amen. This is only going to last a little while. That's right. You know, when you're in a place, uh, when you're in the workplace, and the majority, most of the time, I don't know, they talk a certain way, and they do a certain way, and it's the way of the world. The way of the world. You know the way of the world, and we know the God of this world, and the prince of the power of this world. And you know, a lot of times I felt like that if I would talk a certain way or do a certain thing, it, amen, I was tempted, to, you know, for a promotion or do it this way or that way. But praise God, hallelujah. Amen, that's just for a little while anyhow. Yeah. Amen, just go on, amen, serving the Lord, amen, and, and, and glory to God and, and do what you know is right. Keep your tongue amen. to the right. Amen. You'll walk right, talk right, yeah. and do right. That's right. And when you follow the Lord. I remember the first time that I, and when I got saved, I'm going to just have to tell you, I had a filthy mouth when I got saved. I didn't around mom and dad, but, you know, I did out in the world. And uh, while well, I was back in the place where they all talked that way, yeah. <laughs> well, it slipped. Man, and that really bothered me. It hurt. Yeah. When it slipped, it hurt. Yeah. I the word slipped. I repented immediately. Right. And asked God to forgive me and ask people if anybody heard me around me. Right. Forgive me. I didn't mean to say that. Right. But praise God, God has changed my vocabulary. Amen. Amen. And I, I, I don't have it. But I was, it was instantly taken away. But you know what? We're going to, we make mistakes. Yes, we do. I don't want you to think, amen, that for a moment that God's going to write us off for every little thing. Yeah. I, Jesus told Peter, he said, Satan desired to sift you like wheat. Right. He said, Jesus said, I prayed for you. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Hallelujah. Amen. He encourages us in every way. And he does. Praise God. I'm telling you what, the church, amen, I thank God somebody prayed for me. Yeah. I thank God, amen, I, I know. I, amen, I had praying brother, I had praying, me and brother Bentley, we prayed. And uh, when I was living there at the house, you know, had trouble. There was trouble all around. And uh, the housing project, the people, the neighbors, fighting, going on. We're talking about fighting and carrying on. Well, they're drinking and fighting, and there ain't nothing more miserable than a life like that. Yeah. I've been there. Yeah. You know, the bars and all that stuff. And, you know, like the old Western days. But, yeah. you know, there's no place to be. Dangerous places. And, uh, but fighting and going on, and I had a neighbor that was, man, hard to deal with. I asked Brother Bentley to pray. I'm going to tell you, this is a miraculous thing that happened. Uh, they was having a trouble going on over there, up in the middle of the night, and waking me up, neighbor too, next door. And anyway, one evening, I heard a knock at the door. I went to the door, and it was the man that, Always had trouble with him, you know. It was him. And uh, I don't even know his name, so I couldn't tell you. But it has been years ago. But he asked me, said, can I borrow your phone? At that time I had a, uh, and I think this goes along with the message tonight, but I, I had one of those cordless phones. And I didn't ask him in. But I handed him the phone out there on the porch. And he handed me the phone back and said, they want to talk to you. And I didn't know who he's talking to. So I, you know, I was kind of concerned about it. I don't know at this time, but sometime I had a pistol <laughs> stuffed in my pants behind. But anyway, I got the phone, and it was the police. And I said, is the man that I was talking, is he a, uh, uh, what's the drunk, alleviated? Inebriated. Is he inebriated? Been drinking? I said, what's that? She said, been drinking. I said, Probably. I said, he has a problem with that. She said, okay. She said, we'll be over there in a few minutes. And I handed him the phone back, and they come and picked him up over the next door. And I thought, wow, why? 
God just showed me he can take care of anything. I didn't have to, he called them to his own self. You know, they come, I'm just telling you the way the Lord works a lot of times. I'm telling you, amen, it's amazing how God can work things out. Other, you know, so many things I could tell. I'm not, amen, but amen, uh, God is God. And he'll be God. And he always will be God. Hallelujah, he's a, he's a mighty God. And uh, he said, the flower fadeth thereof and falleth the grace. I'm in verses 11 and James 1. Fashion perish so, so the rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. Here's the verse I wanted to get to. I should have probably. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Praise God. You know, we're to the endure to the end. We've got to have some endurance. Uh, and it may start out with small things, but God helps us to endure. Amen. And when we win a victory over things, amen, we're all tempted and tested and tried. Yeah. Don't feel like, uh, who was it, uh, amen, uh, that was in the cave there, and he thought he was the only one that served God. And, you know, and, he, and God told him, he said, I've got 400 uh, prophets that hadn't bowed the knee to Baal. Right. 400 or 4,000. Amen. But the prophet of God, he heard the still small voice of God, but God let him know, amen, that he wasn't the only one when he ran from Jezebel and feared for his life. We feel that way sometimes. We get, you know, in our own little world, we think that we're the only ones that are going through these things. We need to consider one another that we're all going through some troubles and trials. Amen. He said, let no man say when he's tempted, I'm tempted of God, for God cannot tempt with man with evil, or cannot be tempted with evil, neither is tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he's drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Right. Then when lust is conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it's finished, bringeth forth death. Amen. The wages of sin is still death. It hadn't changed. Right. Uh, but the gift of God, thank God, is eternal life. Yes, Hallelujah, Praise through God. Jesus Christ. Thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father above. And amen, I tell you, uh, amen, uh, temptation. But when temptation comes and the cares of the life and, and riches and pleasures of life, in verses 14 back in the, our lesson in Luke 8, he said, And that which fell among thorns, they, when they were, had heard, go forth and are choked, and the cares and riches and pleasures of this life bring no fruit and bring no fruit to perfection. But that on good ground are they which in honest and good heart, in a good and honest heart, having heard the word, keep it, and bring forth fruit with patience. Praise God. Uh, in verses 14 there, amen, in Timothy, uh, Paul tells Timothy about the uh, temptations of riches in chapter 6, 1 Timothy 6 and verses uh, 6, but godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it's certain we'll carry nothing out. Amen. And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. You know, and that's something about man. It's, we, somebody asked the question to the richest man. You know, I've always heard what I think it was Howard Hughes said, how much would it take for you to be happy? He said, just a little bit more. And that's the way it is with mankind, yeah. just a little bit more. And we're, we all got to be careful, I guess, of that, uh, amen, of that what's carried out there that the enemy is, uh, you know, uh, be, when we've got enough is enough. Jesus, amen, as what Jim, Brother Jimmy often tells us, the church is true. What we lack, what we don't have, the difference in what we have and what we need is in Jesus. Amen. And, it, and it's so true. I feel guilty sometimes, of, you know, but I know that uh, what the Lord, he wants us to work and to yeah. labor and, you know, have things on us, to get things on us. And I believe that's the way to get it, is to work with your hands and do. And I've done this for over 40-some years. And uh, somebody said, you uh, well, I had the people that I worked for before sometimes, you know, you try to get off different things. So, 
I had one, I guess he might have been trying to get rid of me. One supervisor said, well, why don't you just quit and go full time? I said, well, I have thought about that. But I said, you know, work with your hands. What the Lord's led me to do is to work and be able to provide for myself and my wife and uh, to be able to have that I can give, honestly, Amen. not stealing, amen, or taking anything dishonest. I, I think about Paul, the apostle. He was a tent maker, yeah. and he didn't, uh, he, was, he didn't do anything, I don't think, dishonest to make a living. He did it honestly, and I think that the people of God have to do it in an honest way. Yeah. Amen, and there's a right way of doing things. And God uh, has us to do that. He said, we brought nothing into this world, and it's certain we'll make, carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. We see this a lot, you know, with many examples there. But you know what? We don't have to have a lot of money. To, we'll be tempted with that. I often think the love of money is the root of all evil. And I think that it goes back probably when Satan was doing his trafficking on earth, uh, as far as that goes, you know, being the root of all evil, the love of money. But the love of money causes a lot of problems today. And we see it in our society today. And the problem... Uh, in our society today is the love of the almighty dollar and uh, what it can do. You know, it causes people to vote the wrong way, do this the wrong way, and, and everything else, and make all those promises the wrong yeah. way. But we won't get into all that tonight. He said, but uh, verses 15, on the good ground are they which in an honest and a good heart have an heard the word, keep it, and bring forth fruit with patience. Amen, to bring forth the good fruit. In First Peter, I believe it was in First Peter, and I won't be much longer tonight. Amen. Yes. I thought I had that marked. And second Peter. Second Peter chapter two, I believe it was. Verse seven, chapter two, second Peter two and seven, and delivered just lot vexed with the filthy covetousness or conversation of the wicked. For the righteous man dwelleth among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with the unlawful deeds. Verses 9, the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of the temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. It's all in God's hands, isn't it? God knows how. Amen. I don't know how in the world sometimes to work things out, but God does. Brother Keith, we can rest assured, 
Amen. If we just trust in the Lord and wait on the Lord. Amen. Of patience. He said, in patience we possess our souls. In our patience and waiting. Sometimes it seems like, amen, it seems like it's been so long. It seems like sometimes, amen, we want to do things, but sometimes it's best. Always it's best, I'd say. Not sometimes. It's always best. Seek the Lord first. Amen. 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 Seek the Lord first. And then all these other things fall into place. Amen. And it's a simple thing, but it's often, it's, it's so hard for us to do something. I don't know why. It's the flesh that tries to, yeah. to take over. It's like from the beginning, in the beginning in the book of Genesis, when Satan told Adam and Eve, you shall be as gods, to know good and evil. And we want to do it our own self. There's something in us that just wants to do what he wants to do. He wants to be in control. But we need, amen, more than ever to learn how, amen, to trust in God. It's not always the easy thing to do, but God the Lord knoweth how to deliver the, un, the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust of the day of judgment to be punished, but chiefly them that walk after the flesh and the lust of the uncleanliness and despise governments and presumptuous are they self-willed they're not afraid to speak evil of dignities, whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, bring not a railing accusation against them before the Lord. But these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, when we watch the news, when we see these things, and I'm, not, I'm with you, it upsets me, and it should. I mean, it should, it should make us, it should upset us, but still, amen, we say, Lord, Amen. You're, you're the one. You're the judge, not me. Evil of things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption and re shall receive the reward of unrighteousness as they count it pleasure to write in the daytime. Spots they are and blem uh, blemishes, sp uh, sporting themselves with their own deceivers and while they feast with you, having eyes full of adultery that cannot cease from sin, beguiling, unstable souls, and heart they have exercised with covet practice, cursed children, which have forsaken the right way and are gone astray, following the way of Balaam and Bozar, who love the wages of unrighteousness. And you remember how the, uh, he was rebuked to the, uh, he said, but was rebuked for his Iniquity, the dumb ass speaking with man's voice forbade the madness of the prophet. These are wells without water, clouds that are carried with the tempest to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lust of the flesh, through much wantonness, those that were clean escaped from them who lived in error while they promised them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption, for of whom a man is overcome, of the same is brought in bondage. I'm glad that Jesus lifted me out. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm glad that he knows how to deliver. Yeah, yeah. Amen. God is a great deliverer, and he will deliver, and he will save. But folks, like you said, you know, the preacher is to bring the word, tell the way. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, paid for a price of our sins at Calvary to set us free. Thank you, Jesus. Save us from a devil's hell. And to make the way of escape, that we can be, have a way of escape. But the world today, friends, amen, we live in a world that is full, full. As Brother Jimmy said this morning, and then, it's worse, it gets, as Jesus said, that it would wax worse and worse and worse. Amen. And we're in those days. But he said, what? Look up for your redemption draweth nigh. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We see it all around us. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise Lord God. But aren't you glad tonight, amen, yeah. that in the heart, it's up to us preparing that seed, yeah. amen, to hold fast to the right. Amen. Praise God to look to the heavens and to spread the seed, the good news.
that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, has died, paid the cost, delivered us from death and hell, Amen. and be Praise saved. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We've never seen a time like today. Amen. I mean, it's bad, it's rotten. As it was in the days of Noah, as it was in the days of Lot. We see all these things around us that's happening. Praise God, but Jesus is coming. Amen. Behooves us to be ready. Amen. If we're here tonight and you're not ready to know to go, amen, you can be ready. We sang that song, Getting Ready. Jesus said, Be you ready for an hour you think not. So cometh the Son of Man. Amen. Jesus is coming in a moment in the twinkle of an eye. Yes. Amen. The dead in Christ will rise. We which are reign, we will remain. And I always think about Paul. He said we. Yep. It's up to us. We looking for him. Yes. Paul was looking for him in his time. And he said we which are alive and remain. Be changed in the moment in the twinkle of an eye. Be caught up to the yes, Lord. Lord. And there shall we ever be. Praise God. Amen. I don't know how it's, but it's going to take place. Amen. And it's going to take place soon. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God, I praise you and thank you tonight for your mercy and your grace. Lord, I know tonight, Lord, that, amen, that uh, we can do nothing on our own, but, Father, if there's one here tonight, God, that's not ready, Lord, that is sinking in sin, and, uh, Father, that their soul tonight is not ready to stand before you in the judgment. Oh, God, I know today, Lord, that you sent your son Jesus to save them from their sins, to save the world, that whosoever will, and, Lord, that whosoever Will, I'm glad it means me and it means everyone that would come and give their heart and life to you and make a commitment, amen, uh, to give their life to you, Father. I praise you and thank you today, Lord. We have nothing to offer tonight, but God, you give us everything. Amen. Yeah. Lord, the whole world today, it lies in wickedness and sin, but thanks be unto God for Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that give life. Amen, that we can have life abundant. Yes. Praise God that we can be full. Amen, that we can be filled with the joy and the peace and the love and all these good fruits today. Father, I pray tonight, Lord, that you'd help our church to grow in grace and knowledge in each and every heart today. Father, the new converts today, and Brother Jason, and Lord, for all the church, I pray, Lord, that you'd help us to grow. Amen, in your grace and knowledge. And Lord, help us to grow, Father, in your uh, love and Father, to, together, and I pray, Lord, uh, that you would touch every heart tonight. Lord, if he's here, one that's lost, they be saved before it's everlasting too late. And we thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Brother Jimmy. Praise God.